Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Let me walk you through this PowerPoint where we are going to learn about how to evaluate any speech. So this is one of the successful club series and uh, the title says everything evaluate to motivate. Make always your purpose whenever you are evaluating anyone's speech. The purpose should be only to motivate. So let's begin. The benefits of evaluation is that you provide immediate feedback. So the moment you listen the speaker speaking on a stage, whatever you have observed, whatever you have felt about the speech, you are going to give a quick feedback and that is the benefit of evaluation. You offer methods for improvement. Always try to be as the title has already said, evaluate to motivate. Your purpose is only to keep motivating the speaker so he or she keeps coming and improving in the future as well. Building and maintaining self-esteem. Your purpose is to build and maintain self-esteem. So evaluating the tell and sell approach, one of the approaches is you evaluate by tell and sell approach. When the evaluator talks and the speaker listens. So this approach is known as whenever you are an evaluator and you are evaluating the speech, the speaker has to listen your evaluation. So now let's talk about how your evaluation can be effective. So before the speech, talk with the speaker about, as it's been said many times that whenever you have an agenda and your name is in the evaluation panel or the list, always try to approach the speaker because then you will come to know what that speaker wants from you as evaluated, what are the areas that you are going to observe what are the what are the uh, tips that he he is looking for he or she is looking for from you to learn so manual objectives always try to take the manuals from pathways nowadays obviously there is evaluation sheet you should always ask that sheet from the speaker for a quick review evaluation guidelines so if you go through that sheet there will be evaluation guidelines and you can just follow that evaluation sheet. I'll try to show you one example from the iceberg speech from, an, uh, from the pathway. So that will explain further. Any concern? So these are three things, manual objectives, then evaluation guidelines, you have to go through it. And any concerns, like you have to ask the speaker, if you want to, particularly I should observe or focus on any specific area and during the speech show that you are interested this is very important being an evaluator you have to show that yes you are listening to the speaker carefully especially nowadays if you are evaluator try to keep your camera on and try to observe and make notes so the speaker should realize that yes my evaluator is listening so whatever after they speak you are going to tell him or her that would be more credible put yourself in the position of the speaker so when you are evaluating don't try to be so smart that you are not going to be evaluated someday you you, you try to put yourself that what you have done better in that position, suppose you were the speaker, then how you would have done that role in the best possible way. And that's how you can give a best evaluation for any speech. Take notes, obviously, whenever you are evaluating, you have to make notes, but as I have said earlier, never try to read aloud your evaluation while giving your verbal evaluation. Take notes just for the help and to take points while you are giving your verbal evaluation. How to evaluate effectively during your evaluation? Choose your words carefully. Which means when 
you are evaluating, you have to evaluate the speech, the entire speech, not the person. And uh, even even the wording should be very careful. Like uh, you, you are not going to say like you or you in, in, in your opinion, in, in your opinion, whatever you have observed, you can share your feedback and ideas. You are not there to impose something or enforce or force the speaker to adapt to your idea because everyone has a unique style and idea you can always you should always use like uh, in my humble opinion i i observe that if if this if the speech could have been done in this way it could have been better so these wordings are very important so be careful while using your words and selecting your words Evaluate the speech, not the person. It's always been said in Toastmasters, always try to evaluate that particular speech. It doesn't matter the member is an old member, an experienced member, or just a new one. You have to focus on that particular speech only. Promote self-esteem. Obviously, it's been already said. Avoid being disingenuous, which means honest evaluations are upbeat and encouraging while offering suggestions for improvement, obviously. And closing marks connect to your opening statement. So evaluation is not just evaluation. Evaluation itself is a speech which has a beginning, a body, and conclusion. So your evaluation should be presented in a way that it is a full package. So in the beginning you have said, and then in the body you have explain your points further then you have to connect at the end whatever you have said in the beginning so as as, as i said very briefly tell and tell what you are going to tell and then tell again so summarize your key points it is very important because i've seen many of us we we forget many times you forget to summarize and especially in the contest it has points and only because of these reasons we we lose the points in the context i'm, I'm talking in the context scenario uh, mainly so always try to summarize your key points that you have already said and then finish your evaluation give a personal story or example so when you are submitting your evaluation try to bring your personal a story yourself that how you could have done first thing or how it has been for you like if you had some experience yourself you can share your story or anecdotes if you want in in that uh, evaluation encourage listeners to apply what they heard and learned so while you are presenting your evaluation it shouldn't be just focused on one particular person you you, you could say that this is my opinion or this is my observation for the speaker as well as for all the audience. So that would be beneficial for everyone listening your evaluation. So uh, that's all and let me show you an, uh, an, an example of evaluation sheet so that this will be more clear. So let me share with you. All right, so we have this evaluation form, evaluation and feedback. First a speech. So here you have to put the details of the speaker. For example, here member name, whoever the speaker is, then you can put the date of the speech and then evaluator. So as an evaluator, you have to put your name here. And then the speech timing is five to seven minutes and a speech title, very much simple, everything. Then purpose statements. So the purpose statement of this project is for the member to present a speech on any topic, receive feedback and apply the feedback to a second speech. So this is the second project in pathway after just after icebreak, icebreaker speech, a Toastmaster has to deliver this speech where he is going to receive feedback and whatever the feedback or evaluation will be recommended, recommended then he or she will apply in the second speech. And the second purpose is for this speech is for the member to present a speech and receive feedback from the 
evaluator. So overall, the whole purpose is to deliver a speech and receive feedback. That's all. Note for the evaluator, the member had to spend time writing a speech to present at a club meeting. The member will deliver a well-organized speech on any topic. So as you know that this is the second speech, so the speaker has full liberty to select any topic of his or her choice. Focus on the member the speaking style. Be sure to recommend improvements that the member can apply to the next speech. So here this form is talking about like the style of this speaking style in terms of voice modulation, in terms of clarity, in terms of uh, in terms of like body language, in terms of delivery, these are some areas an evaluator should focus on and be sure to recommend improvements that the member can apply to the next speech. The speech may be humorous, informational or any style the member chooses. So obviously the member is very much free to choose any style. The member will ask you to evaluate his or her second speech at a future meeting. So as I said earlier, this is this form is for the second speech and you have to know that the speaker is going to repeat this particular speech or any other speech implementing all the feedback or comments you are going to provide. In general comments, there are three sections very common in all the evaluation form that we are seeing in pathways you excel at you may want to work on to challenge yourself. So these are the three areas in the first column you are going to put all good stuff you have noticed in a public speaker like his or her voice, the calmness and uh, presentation, the articulation or the arrangement of a speech. So in, in all terms that you have really liked you can mention that yes you have done this fabulously amazingly you have worked on that and then the second portion is about something that you think the speaker should work on a little bit on that area and the third one is where the speaker has to really challenge himself or herself and has to work on that particular area for example the the voice clarity I would say or the sound or more confidence whatever you feel that that particular area is really something that a speaker should work on you can recommend and uh, after all always remember to give the closing remark or summary so always try to summarize your evaluation as we have just discussed in the previous presentation. In these two pages there are a few points that you can select now because it is not an icebreaker speech. This is the second speech and these are the criteria you can you can try to find out in any public speaker. Clarity, vocal variety, eye contact, gestures, audience awareness, comfort level, interest. So these are the areas and these are the number given and uh, hardly if you are going to give someone five that means there is no any room for improvement so obviously your score may vary from two to four or three so whatever you feel you are absolutely free to give your feedback and there is some more explanations and further discussion about uh, what is actually clarity, what is focal variety, then eye contact, gestures. So it is highly recommended to go through all this uh, text which is mentioned. And I hope that now it is very much clear for you that you can evaluate any speaker now. Always try to have this evaluation form beforehand. Go through it, read it time and again, and then I hope you will submit an amazing evaluation. So always try to evaluate to motivate. That should be the motto of an evaluator.
Thank you very much.